joining my soccer universe. Well, going back to the smaller cars. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed that. Uh, let's talk very briefly Champions League qualification. Um, I will later today post the first part of the Bundesliga jersey review. But for now, Champions League qualification. There were three games yesterday. Um, with varying degrees of excitement, um, I think the what well, least exciting was the Kras Motamar Olympiakos, because Olympiakos already had a 4 0 advantage from the first leg. Something I it still does not quite compute to me, to be honest, uh, simply for the fact that Kras eliminated Porto. And I know Porto is not the greatest team. Uh, this season, although the, the way they played against Benfica, but you know, they also lost a few players. Uh, it still does not compute. I mean, Porto going with a 1 0 advantage from the first leg away from home into this game, into the game against uh, Porto, and then being up 3 0 uh, within 30 minutes or something like that. Beggars believe, and then you lose 4 0 to Olympiakos. Uh, that doesn't make, didn't make much sense to me. Uh, Krasnodar tried the miracle. They got a early goal in the 11th minute, uh, but 40 seconds later, Olympiakos manages to equalize and takes basically everything. If there was the small, a slim chance, uh, they took it away because Krasnodar was never going to score five goals. Yes, remontada, blah blah blah. Um, Krasnoda had a nice free kick chance, but that was that. Uh, Olympiakos makes the second goal in the second half. Game killed off. I have to say though, the stadium in Krasnoda from the outside it really looks like a coliseum uh, or the coliseum. <laughs> uh, that is impressive and uh, also impressive that such a stadium was not used for the World Cup. I guess Krasnoda is not that big of a city, but that stadium. Uh, looked really, really, really nice. Then we go high up north to Rosenborg against Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, Dinamo having a 2 0 advantage from the home game. Uh, again, there were two goals in quick succession in uh, the first leg. Rosenborg came out storming. Uh, had already early a good chance, then uh, the captain. Heads it towards the post and the rebound falls to. And I really would love if I know those uh, strikers uh, or the players. I didn't, but a uh, Nigerian player um, slots it home. The weird thing with that one was that um, I didn't understand why Zagreb is playing in all yellow and was not were not pretty jerseys against Rosenberg who plays in their traditional uh, white and black. I actually like the Rosenberg jerseys this time around, uh, especially with the pinstripes, looked pretty spiffy. Uh, Rosenberg had chances. Uh, it was really a really tight one, uh, most notably a free kick just before the half hit the, uh, the post. Uh, and that could well have gone in. I mean, the, 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 this was just a matter of inches. And if it's 2-0, um, you know, I think uh, Dinamo could have fallen. However, with probably the goal of the evening, Dinamo gets um, the equalizer and kills off the tie. Rosenberg kept trying, but there was no way that Dinamo uh, made it through. So we have the Croatian champions after a year of absence, a uh, year or two years, I for sure a year. Uh, but they were sort of Champions League re regular as well. They're back in the Champions League, where in a way you want to see them. Um, it would have been nice to see Rosenborg again, but no. I think their uh, their big time is over. And you know, in these modern times, uh, it is really hard for teams like Rosenborg to make it all the way to Champions League. It's already uh, pretty remarkable that they made it that far. And then the big one, uh, or basically the one that really had not, where it was really tight, was between Resta Belgrade or Cervena Svezda. Although my wife yesterday um, confused me completely, said Cervena uh, Svezda. I know in Bulgarian it um, 
red is červen. So I was assuming that in uh, Serbian it's the same. Maybe I'm wrong. I still want to say červena zvezda. <laughs> I didn't follow up on it. I was too tired. Uh, <laughs> just I, I actually fell asleep at halftime um, of this game. So uh, I saw the first half, most of it, but of my experiences are mostly from uh, later. Well, I have to say that um, the game was not a good game, and the other thing, clearly, clearly young boys should have uh, won the first leg. They were the better team, but uh, the one thing I admire about a Red Star or Jarvena Svesta, I keep saying Jarvena Svesta, the one thing that I really admire about them is they are never say die attitude they are not giving up they have a lot of heart and they keep on scoring they're a dangerous team even if the other team is um, clearly dom dominant this doesn't mean that you are gonna um, lose it no we saw it last year against Salzburg uh, where within I think two minutes they turned a three a two nil deficit where Salzburg really seemed to be headed for the Champions League, they turned it right around and made it in a 2-2 and that way uh, they made it to the Champions League last season where they acquitted themselves very well. They beat Liverpool, the eventual champions. They got a draw uh, against Napoli, so it was really um, a good performance of theirs, I have to say. So um, for that reason, you really gotta uh, commend this team. Also, they made it through all qualifying rounds. I have to drive you crazy. They made it through all qualifying rounds uh, so far. They, um, the first round was probably relatively, then against Helsinki, um, was a little bit tight, at least when you see, see, see the results. But you know, 2-0 uh, at home, 2-1 away from home, but the second goal for Helsinki came late. And then the crazy game against Copenhagen, uh, I think 2-1 one, once, and then this epic penalty shootout, and now you're uh, at Young Boys. So then, back to the uh, to the tie against Young Boys, uh, where, as I said before, uh, Young Boys were the better team in the first leg, but Jervan uh, Svestan made their two goals, and therefore uh, went with the advantage into this return leg in a sold out uh, Maracana in Belgrade which uh, is always a side tour to build a great uh, TIFO was being put uh, was really a great at at atmosphere and I imagine without all the Champions League uh, <laughs> marketing around and whatever they do there it might have been even more intimidating um, game itself was not that great. Uh, I think Young Boys again had a little bit the better of the uh, game, but it was very nervous. No one really wanted to, um, you know, try too much. Uh, I think uh, eBay, Young Boys learned their lesson that uh, better be careful because you can get hit on the counter attack in no time and Jeremy Svesta doesn't need to uh, come out anyway uh, the game went nil into the half I think the one semi chance fell to eBay uh, then pretty big you know blunder almost where uh, eBay could have could, could scored but Somehow, the, I think the ball went really high and they just keep it out and basically on the return with the first shot, shot and goal, Jeremy Svesta makes it 1-0. That's exactly what uh, this team is, is about. They are clinically in finishing. You gotta admire that. And then um, eBay tries everything. Uh, and a deflected shot in the 81st gives them the 1-1. However, it was not enough. They had another chance where the goalkeeper really 
pulled it out, they had uh, German Star had someone sent off, but they are back for the second time in a row in the Champions League. And I have to say, despite my sympathies for eBay, there is a big fan friendship between eBay and um, Lusk. Um, German Star is a team that belongs to the Champions League. I mean, they are a former winner of the European Cup. So, uh, simply for that fact, I don't mind them being in the Champions League at all. Do, they, they, they wish it went the other way, maybe, uh, as I said, because of the friend, f fan friendship. Uh, however, I also have to clearly say that when it comes between Austria and Switzerland, it's also not such a clear-cut um, thing. At least I'm, as an Austrian, I'm a little bit envious of the Swiss and their sporting success. But hey, we have another Balkan team moving on into the Champions League, which is something I actually really enjoy, it has to be said. And yeah, we're gonna uh, get three more games tonight. And there's, for me, the big one, Club Bruges against Lusk. Um, cannot wait. I, I know Lusk lost the first game at home to, uh, to Bruges, but I really think they have a chance. I really think they do. Uh, if they play like they played this weekend, if they take their chances that they already had against Bruges, uh, I, don't, I think there is a chance. It's a slim chance, but there is a chance. So I'm all excited about that one, gotta say. Uh, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the games yesterday and about the upcoming games today. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.